Hey y'all, so we are back with another client makeup tutorial and today we are going to be doing a smoky eye, something simple and easy to achieve. So right now I am actually just brushing some powder on the brows before I go ahead and fill them in because that just soaks up any of the oils that are present on the face and allows the brow pencil to glide on smoothly. To fill in the brows, I'll be outlining them first and then I'll be filling in any gaps that I see within the brow. Now I'm brushing the brow product into the brow just to get rid of any harsh outline. Then I went ahead and color matched her concealer on her forehead and now I am just shaping the brows and I'm actually using this paintbrush that I purchased from Amazon. I'll have it linked down in the description box below. I'm going to be dragging the concealer down to the lid and covering the entire eyelid for the base for the eyeshadow. Before applying eyeshadow, you want to make sure that you blend out that concealer that we placed on the eyelid. And to do this, I'm just going to be using the Real Technique setting brush and I'll be using patting motions to blend out that concealer. For eyeshadow, we're just going to be doing something simple, just a brown smoky eye. So just use any of your favorite brown eyeshadows and just press them all over the lid. I like pressing in my shadows first to build up the color and then I like blending out the edges last. For liner, I'm using a disposable liner applicator and I just dipped it into my liquid eyeliner. I don't apply the applicator that the liquid eyeliner comes with directly to my client's eyes because it's not sanitary. I'm always using a disposable. Now I'll be moving on to the face and I'm just removing any eyeshadow fallout or oils or dirt that may be present on my client's face and I'm just using a makeup remover wipe from Walmart, the Equate brand. It's always important to properly prep your client's face before putting on foundation. So right now I'm just going to be applying some moisturizer and also a primer to prep her skin for all of the makeup that we'll be putting on. Now I'm color matching her foundation on her chin and then when I get the color that I want, I'm just going to be painting the face with the foundation and that's why I like these brushes from Amazon because they're really thin so you're not putting too much product on the skin when you're applying it. Now I'm going in with my Real Techniques Instapop face brush and I'm just going to be patting that foundation in to blend it into the skin. To highlight her face, I'll just be going in with a concealer that's about two shades lighter than her skin tone and I'll be applying the concealer to her under eye, 
her chin, her nose, her forehead, around her brows, and also around her upper lip area. Once I apply the concealer, I'm going to be blending it out with the Real Technique setting brush. And again, I'll be using padding motions. And then I also went in and added a little bit more concealer, but this concealer is a tad bit brighter than the original concealer that we used because I did want a brighter under eye. So I applied that and just blended that out. And now I'm going in with powder contour, and which is actually a bronzer. And I'm just going to be bronzing the areas of her face that I want bronze. So that would consist of her forehead, her cheekbones, and also the sides of her nose. Now I'm going in and I'm just applying powder to all of the areas that I placed concealer. For her lashes, I'm going to be measuring the lash first and then I'll be going in with another disposable liner applicator and I'll be putting lash glue on the applicator and putting the glue on her lash line instead of the actual strip lash. And then once it got tacky, I just applied the lashes and then asked her to look up just because sometimes the lashes do get stuck to the bottom. So looking up really high at the ceiling will just allow that glue to become unstuck. To outline her lips, I'm using a foundation stick from Black Opal and I'm going to be basically using it as a lip liner and then I'll be going in with a peachy toned lipstick and adding a gloss on top. This part of the makeup session is my client's least favorite because it tickles so bad, but I'm just applying some gel liner to her bottom lash line, and then I'll be going in and smoking out that eyeliner with some eyeshadow and applying a little bit of mascara. Now I'm just going in and pressing in and swiping away that powder that we placed on the face to bake. And then I'll be going in with some setting spray and setting her face. And this is the final look, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for the next one.